The technology contained within the modern motor car can be both fascinating but slightly baffling nowadays as well. Most of such technology exists to make our cars safer, more efficient and just better than ever to drive. But some of it can be quite confusing for the average motorist. So in this A to Z series, we will attempt to unravel the mystery of technology that is the modern motor car. This week the letter R. R is for regenerative braking. Used by everything from a modern Formula One car to a Formula E car, and by hybrids and fully electric vehicles as well, such as Jaguar's I-Pace concept, regenerative brakes are a clever way of creating and then storing the energy that's produced when you brake. Such systems work by converting the kinetic energy that a vehicle produces when it's braking, more often than not using an electric motor, and then storing it in a battery pack or occasionally in a spinning flywheel. This energy is then reissued via the same electric motor whenever it's required, i.e. when the driver reapplies the throttle after braking. Some regenerative braking systems will also produce small amounts of energy by tickling the brakes in certain circumstances, even when the driver isn't actually pressing the brake pedal, such as when going down a steep hill. R is for rear wheel drive. Once upon a time, all Jaguars were rear wheel drive, but nowadays, all Jaguar Land Rovers are available in four-wheel drive in certain markets. In theory though, rear-wheel drive is still the more pure format to have, be that in a front-engine car or even a mid- or rear-engine one, because by not putting any drive through the front wheels, the steering system remains unaffected by the throttle and is therefore clearer in its response. Most rear-drive cars, such as the Jaguar F-Type you see here, will use longitudinally mounted engines that are mounted in the nose. Power is then sent to the rear wheels from the engine's crankshaft via a prop shaft, which then connects to a differential at the rear axle and then eventually to the drive shafts and so on. All mid or rear engine cars are either rear or four wheel drive. The idea of a mid engined front wheel drive car would after all seem like the answer to a question no one has ever bothered to ask. But finally R is for the letter R. Sporting cars have what's called a halo effect for their manufacturers, and there are more being made and sold today than at any time in the automobile's 210 year history. The first ever car to be powered by a combustion engine having appeared in 1807. But sporting brands within car ranges always need a really good name, and in Jaguar Land Rover's case, this name has for a long time simply been one letter, the letter R, as in XFR. F-Type, R, and most recently of all, SV, R. The letter stands very loosely for race, by the way, and whenever it's applied, expect more power, less weight, more performance, more agility, more of everything, basically, including price. Next week, the letter S.